Welcome back, guys, to Fire Emblem Engage. Well, last episode, we began Chapter 2 as the Divine Dragon met his mother. Learning of the corrupted enemies we fought and of the other Emblem Rings with five more stored in the castle's vault, Paul Lumera invited us to stretch our muscles in a practice battle. So began two sets of combat against the queen and her pawns made from grass and rock, with the second involving the summoning of the Holy Knight Sigurd to bolster her power, as our group managed to overcome the trial, as we now take a well-earned rest. Liberation has been obtained. Okay, don't touch the edge, but do find the cats! <laughs> meow! Meow! <gasps> yes. Expect love. I can't pet the cat! If you let me pet the dog, if there's a dog and I can put it and I can't pet the cat, I will... Zero out of ten. Meow! Anyway. We'll leave Meowie here. Have a look around. Oh, the treasures are even marked on the map. You don't have to look around too much by the look of it. They are glowing. It wants you to have your things and go. 20 iron ingots? <laughs> Someone just picked them all up off the ground. Why were they just lying around anyway? Someone could have stubbed their toes on that. Oh, excellent. This field is full of cats. The taste. Excellent. Excellent. I think I can start accepting her as my mum now. A hundred percent. Spectacular as ever. You fought magnificently. Going forward, I will continue alongside you as your knight. Why, thank you, sir. Please rest easy for today. We'll chat in the morning. Yeah, the auto scroll does work for that. Um, I was helpful, yeah? At least a little? I'm gonna keep being helpful for you, Divine One. It's timed pretty well. <laughs> Divine One, you look so amazing. I swear I'm gonna get stronger too, especially for you. But look, game's over. We'll just stay here with the cats, right? Life will be good. Oh, how wonderful to see my child awake at last. Now we'll never have to be apart. There is so much to catch up on, so much to see and do together. We can chat for hours, take long walks, share meals, and then... Mm. If my child's memories are truly lost, I wonder... <sighs> Emblem Sigurd. I am here. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Today certainly was eventful. Queen Lumera seems so kind and caring. I'm sure she was a wonderful mother. If only I could remember those days. I must have felt so lucky to be her child. Why are you here alone? as though you were having a bad dream. I was. But yes, I'm all right. Were you here this whole time? You were wearing my ring when you went to bed. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to take it off. That's all right. Keep it on. Then if something happens, I will be able to help. Besides, after a millennium together, I would feel uncomfortable if we were separated now. Marth, what was I like? Hmm. You knew me back then. 
You must be able to tell me something. Well... You were kind, as you are now. There's no need to remember everything at once. Take your time. Ease back into your memories. Lumera advised that too, didn't she? Yes, she did. Sorry. I don't mean to be impatient. It's all right. Uh, what was that? I'm not sure. An enemy raid? We had best take a look. I'm worried about Lumera and the others. Agreed. And there's a reason I had to go to sleep for a thousand years. Karate chop to the back of the neck, right? That's a lot of guys. Vander, Clan, Fram! Oh, Divine One. Thank goodness you're safe. What's happening? Tell me. Some enemies busted right through the castle walls like paper! Suddenly, bam, they're here! What's worse, they fought their way into the ring vault. If you ask me, they're trying to get their hands on the <sighs> emblem rings. Even as we speak, Queen Lumera is defending the vault. Quickly, we must fly to her aid. Sounds like a plan. Follow me! Through these normal humans? There's a guy off to the side. I'm not really, uh... I don't want to get pegged from the side. Item icons on enemies indicate that you can get something for defeating them. Items you can obtain will be highlighted in green in the enemy's inventory. Review information about unit by selecting them with the X button. Check the details screen for information about weapons and skills. Return to battle by pressing B or X. Yeah, this, this guy's the issue. Especially because he's... Make sure to be at least two range away. Wait, can you not actually enter? Oh, you're on the outside! Haha, <laughs> suck it! Oh, you can enter from here, damn. Oh, you can enter from here! <laughs> well, I'm glad we found out which side they're coming from. So, there is... I didn't have spears yet, but I do have an axe, so I can take that guy on. Looks like I'm supposed to head left first. And we're obviously going to be attacked a bit by other guys on this right, s on this other side, but because this guy doesn't have a javelin or anything, we don't have to worry about being hit from two range. So that's a good thing. Uh, we could also put you just in range with them, because you only take one damage from these, which would break them both. But I'm not sure that's how we necessarily want things to work, so they're dealing with this, the swordsman, really. Because, of course, these guys can break. Oh, they can't do much damage. Anything. So if we leave with you to attack over here... I mean, ideally... So you've got movement of five or four. Four, 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 four. So you can't get to there, but you can. Ah, uh, the issue is, is that I would rather... I feel like we just take out the obvious, the easiest target first. The real issue is I actually can't straight up follow up. Because you're out of range for the guy I want to attack. And we can't really leave you in range of these pegs. So then, knowing that you're back there, it's about dealing with the rangers here. The divine dragon looked at me! Yeah, 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 I looked at you. Uh, you don't need to chain guard? Who's got the highest defense here? Four, five, okay. For the Divine Dragon. Here goes. <laughs> I sway at the back here. Of course we can engage. <laughs> 
So what should happen is Spear Guy should be able to come in and attack. Which that would be a break if we didn't just straight up avoid and finish him off. I am guided by the emblems. So we want the Peg Knights to come in from the right, then we want to rush them and dispatch them as fast as possible. Speed defense, res luck. I need some strength here. I didn't actually expect you to die. There are too many of them. We'll never make it to the ring vault. Through the door, right? Yeah, this is the one. Then let go. I hear voices. Someone's coming. Moment too soon. The Crown Prince Alfred of Firene is here to help. Let me at him. Get back on your horse. <laughs> Prince Alfred of Firene, you said? Could it be? Are you the divine dragon? You finally woke up? I did, yes. That's amazing! You know, I've waited ages for this to happen! There's so much to talk about. Later, of course. After we've taken care of these scoundrels. Uh, who are they, anyway? We're not sure. They attacked so suddenly. Well, let's do this quickly. Pin down whoever's in charge and get some answers. Oh, these are my retainers, Etie and Boucheron. From now on, consider us at your disposal. Lead the way, Divine One! Thank you for your help. Alfred, Ette, and Boucheron has joined my group. That's great and all. So we got swordsmen to start off with, but we wanted to get the pegs down nice and fast-ish. So if I take you off as a actual thing, you're now the target. So ideally, I think I want to use you to take down this peg. You should be out speeding too, if I'm right in saying. You can't do the job, though, and four speed is not the difference. Okay. If I attack you, you still live. So those two will combine over here. We then want our group here. Who, of course, I noticed the weapons that they had and the uh, exact way they're lined up to do things here. I'm happy to help. You've literally got spear for the sword, axe for the peg. And then you've just got an archer that you can come in and finish off things by the look of things. Sorry, Divine One. I didn't have a chance to introduce myself. My name's Boucheron. If I'm near an enemy you're fighting, I can jump in and land another hit on them. Call on me if you need some extra oomph. Backup units can add a chain attack to an ally's assault. They will join an ally's attack if they are in range of the enemy that they're that we're attacking. Cool. If they're in range of the actual target, okay. I mean, obviously, that would be the target. Alright, let's work out some other logistics here. I mean, obviously, you're the one for that, but it's your movement I'm interested in. Four. So if you're removed, I can definitely shoot a peg. It's an honor to meet you, Divine One. I'm Etienne. My arrows are perfect for knocking airborne enemies out of the sky. With these muscles, I'll have those flyers dropping like flies. Some weapons have icons to indicate that they are effective against certain types of foes. Such weapons inflict bonus damage to foes of the indicated typing. Alright, the first thing to check is, do we indeed get a one-shot KO? The answer to that is very yes. So if she can go to this position and shoot, she will get that target and be completely fine for anything else. So we've kind of got like our obvious weapon set here, don't we? You're gonna take out this one. I won't get lost. Should I move you first though? That's what I'm wondering. What level is Boucheron? Four already. 
You're level five. Mr. Alfred here. Otherwise known as Clive. He's a self-improver. If you didn't use his weight that attacking or using items, grant strength plus two for one turn. That's actually not bad. I quite like that. By the way, I take it weapon weights are still a thing. I don't know. Doesn't say a weight, does it? His rating is down, though. It's a bit weird. So, yeah, we want you to go in and sort this one out. So everyone there is getting good loving. We have a movement of four and a movement of four. So we just want to start breaking through our enemies now. A noble sacrifice. So the weapon triangle exists, but once they're broken, I'm assuming the triangle no longer means anything whatsoever in terms of like hit avoidance, etc. Hit damage one is 10, the chain attack is two, interestingly. Also, we have this. Divine Dragon only fills engage me by one when user attacks and defeats a foe in a single turn. So it's just better overall. It has a 10 speed to it, too. There's no negative to me using this. Not that my liberation gauge isn't already filled up. Need some help? Dream well. He's dead! <laughs> There's no dreaming here. A Leon mouse spawn has gone up again. We just have an extra 15 avoidance. Now we've unleashed at the air to come in and yeah. ping a peg. Farewell. And then we can pretty much take out the remainder guy over here. This is literally here to give me my stuff back, by the way. And I'm just like, no, nah, I don't need it. Nah, don't need it. Panda's like, I must help the young. Do you know what I mean? They usually have quite high res, don't oh, they? But goodness. land levels up. Speed res. Blood. <laughs> Build right. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm gonna actually actually look that up. Blood. Where's blood? It's not there. We'll find out. It'll be fine. I'll find it out in there. Oh, there it is. Prevents heavy weapons from slowing attack speed. There is that. Heavy, heavy tones. My goodness. So much. Alright, so you've moved a little bit. Does this terrain fly as only rubble? Okay. We're basically going to do the exact same thing we did two seconds ago. And continue just very nicely up this side. we got a flyer over here. I do not need your movement anymore. Unfortunately, you have died. We are feeding the mage. Right, well, no one needs healing. If I put the yeah, ZL on, we could just move up the map now. See, if Chain Guard actually did gave some experience, I'd be all in. Ooh. 
Ooh, plus stats, eh? Thankfully, there's no traps or anything. Uh, can you actually move into range to kill this guy? No. Oh, you need to be pulled in, do you? Right, so sword guy... Everything is for flyers, really. Alright, well, you're going there. You'll move up. Slowly but surely. The group is on the move. I don't know if I really want to use this to heal 1 HP. Because I've got charges and they haven't got any extra stats yet. But... It's experience. I can't just leave that there, you know? Didn't have any emblem power, but... Put you there so you're, like, bare defensive there. I could pull on some guys that probably won't be able to do any damage to me whatsoever. If I'm right in saying. But they do break me, so there's not really any need. It's the break mechanic I've got to watch out for now. Okay, oh wait, do you only break if you do damage? That is a perfect amount of HP you've left that person on. Thank you very much. It right, looks like we've got an A sequence that we need to dispatch everyone in the blink of an eye. So the question is who does what? Can I double any of my foes? Seems not. Even though my build went up. Oh, well, that guy does get wrecked a fair bit. Abby me. I actually got a name. Can I talk to you? You don't have to be evil. It's a good conversation, isn't it? Right, we need to feed the experience to our characters. We get breaks on other characters, but we feed the experience to our ones. So ideally, we want to get our lord in for you. Maybe just hit this guy a little bit. No matter what, we can get attacks for everyone. Break foe ten times is cleared. Okay, just because you're in the way. Why'd you have to be like this? What's the best way for me to take you out, sword boy? I'm just I'm just left to consider multiple different uh, courses of action right now in terms of how I want to get all the experience on the field because I'm assuming if I defeat you that is map over. Oh no, it is a, is a route so no matter what there'll be one guy left and we want to we've got only one, two, three, four, five, six, six actions for five enemies. So we definitely need to be one shot KOing some of the guys, really. I guess the strength plus three doesn't help too much. All of our newest guys can really, like, lay into these. Question is just this one in the back. That's what I want to find out. How's that going to work out for us all in all? Let's take care of first guy. I think that was wrong. I think I should have done it that way. Did you see that? I feel like I should have been using the combo attack somehow in amongst all of this. 
to get the damage I needed down. Of course, we got healer damage too. Okay, you need to be dispatched. <laughs> I think I have to engage to get the rapier. Me your strength. This does block quite a few of our opposition here, so they can do a lot less damage back. Who are you? And what do you want? I didn't talk! I am here to fight, not exchange words. That's fine then. Fate has brought us here. This is it. You're not just any soldiers, are you? Well, first recruitment failed. <laughs> I don't know. Though it did very much say defeat the person. Okay, that's a one shot there and a one shot here. Cool. We've got a train together. Do I get my go back? Oh, he didn't even get experience. He just comes in and stole the kill. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm guessing he's the MVP then. Oh no! <laughs> That's unfair. It's two people working in tandem. Chapter 3 is cleared. Looks like we cleared the way. Let's get to the ring vault. Whoever it is you are, the rest of your forces have all been defeated. So surrender now. If you refuse, I will stop you. Hmm. Uh, but how? Do I detect a hint of fear? Of course I do. <laughs> Not witches. Please, no. Time to die. <laughs> Look out! Now, why don't you hand the rings over to me? Leave here at once! powers to you. I hoped it would be enough to bring you back to me someday. But now, it would seem that I'm completely spent. Oh no, this is my fault. I did this. No, my dear. You have to push those thoughts away. 
There is nothing a mother wouldn't do to see life return again to her beloved child. But I... This ring, it belongs to you now. The ring of the Holy Knight. I had so hoped to give you the ring I made as well. But that's not possible now. Listen to me, child. Those who invaded here, I sense the power of the fell dragon within them. <sighs> you must not allow them to capture any more of their rings. Please, I beg of you, gather together all twelve rings. <sighs> and when your scattered memories return to you, you must fight on with the utmost divinity. I believe in you, my child. I understand. I'll collect the rings. I swear to you. And I'll fight. I'll do whatever you want. But please, don't leave me. <sighs> Mother! Ah, <sighs> oh, young one. How I've longed to hear you call me that. All of those years, I held out hope. My heart is fuller than you could ever know. It can't end like this. You were going to give me that ring once my memories came back. You promised. And there, there are so many things you haven't told me yet. You said that we would talk. I did. There's still so much I wanted to say to you. Being your mother, becoming your mother has brought so much happiness into my life. I know, and I'm happy to be your child. In this moment, here and now, and a thousand years ago, I am. Don't go. Stay with me until I remember again. Please, mother, I need more time. <laughs> oh, my sweet one. Now, let's make a promise. Mother and child, we'll make it a pinky promise. I swear to you, I'll be with you always and forever. And the ring, remember. Once you've rested, we will talk. You and I. Mother! No! Please! This simply cannot have happened. Queen Lumera. Divine Dragon Queen. She has left us. Mother! Please wake up! You promised you'd stay by my side! You have to! You have to keep your promise! There's a lot of weirdly different despair in that scene, isn't there? Because it's not only like he doesn't really feel the mother thing, but the mother's dying. He doesn't have much time to make a choice about that and come towards it in his head. Also, literally all the things I need to know are in there and I have no memory. There's so many levels of despair you would feel in that situation. But with chapter three complete, let's move on with new party members. An evil teleporting witch, which is super powerful. Oh, no witches, please. As our story now truly begins, I would say.